From awe-inspiring supernovas to the tiny dwarf planets, sorry Pluto, the universe is full of natural wonders. Physicists have been struggling for 40 years to try, try to deal with uh, this conundrum. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In this installment, we're going to delve deep into the unknown and count down the five most astonishing things you probably didn't know about black holes. What? I don't know what a black hole is. A black hole is a collapsed dead star that has so much gravity it acts like a huge vacuum cleaner sucking everything into it, a light interstellar dust time. Number five, black holes can be incredibly bright. Millions of stars, and on the horizon, a strange dark sphere rising. Though black holes have a gravitational force so strong that light can't escape them, black holes burn astoundingly bright. In fact, astronomers believe that quasars, the brightest objects in the universe, may actually be the result of supermassive black holes. I'm gonna take us just inside the critical orbit. What about the time slippage? Oh, neither one of us have time to worry about relativity right now, Dr. Brand. This is due to something called an accretion disk, which is the accumulation of all the hot gas and dust that swirls around a black hole as it swallows stars. When matter falls into a black hole, it travels faster and faster, which releases energy in the form of intense heat and light as it collides with other matter. Flashes. Flashes of light and blackness. In 2015, astronomers identified a new black hole, which shines 429 trillion times brighter than our own sun. Number four, Stephen Hawking bets on black holes and loses. And what can be more special than that there is no boundary? Stephen Hawking may be one of the most highly regarded thinkers of our time, but don't take him to Vegas. His string of gambles began in 1975, when he bet fellow astronomer Kip Thorne that a celestial body known as Cygnus I wasn't a black hole. After many years of theoretical work on black holes, Hawking realized that it would all be for naught if it turned out they didn't exist. So he says he made his bet with Thorne as an insurance policy. If he was wrong, at least he'd have a one-year subscription to Penthouse magazine. Penthouse? The magazine? Yeah. He lost that bet. He has since lost other bets that only those within the theoretical physics community would ever think to make, including a bet against the existence of the Higgs boson, or God particle, whose existence was proven in 2013. However bad life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. Number three, scientists recently discovered a monstrous, puzzling black hole. We exit into another time or place, perhaps another universe. In February 2015, scientists published their finding about J0100 plus 2802, a black hole measured to be 12 billion times more massive than our own sun. And you thought your student debt was big. This monster black hole sits just a hop and a skip away, 12.8 billion light years in the Pisces constellation. But it's too far, right? Mm -hmm. Not only is it large and old, but it's one of the brightest things in the universe. It shines 40,000 times brighter than our entire galaxy. Black holes, famous for hiding in the dark, have a history of outbursts that have reached across the cosmos. Though not technically the most massive black hole known, its relative age presents an interesting puzzle to cosmologists. But this was a thing that had been traveling to us for 7.5 billion years, arrived here and for 30 seconds it was astonishingly bright. The data tells that the black hole was formed nearly 13 billion years ago, but according to what scientists currently know about the universe, there's no way it should be as large as it is given its age. You said science is about admitting what we don't know. She's got to there. Number two. A person falling into a black hole would be spaghettified. There are black holes located within our own galaxy, and with breakthroughs in space travel, maybe falling into a black hole isn't so far fetched. Okay, it still is. But new research says that if you survive the passage, and you wouldn't, you'd get stretched a little thin. The average black hole is 20 times more massive than our own sun and 333,000 times heavier than the Earth. Shut yeah. up about the sun! Shut up about the sun! The more mass, the stronger its gravitational pull. So the closer you are to a massive object like a star or a black hole, the stronger you feel their gravity. With the mass of a star squashed down to a point, a black hole is a deep puncture in space-time. If you were pulled feet first into a black hole, the pull on your space boots would be harder than the pull on your space helmet. Oh, look at me, I'm shaking in my little space boots. The result would be a hilarious spaghetti-like stretching that would rip your body apart. Don't cry, Bender. Nobody really knows what happens in a black hole. It's possible she's still alive in another dimension somewhere. Right, Professor? 
Oh, oh yes, uh, absolutely. Not a chance. <laughs> Number one, the closest black hole is thousands of light years away. With all this talk about black holes sucking in the stars and galaxies around them, it's natural to ask if Earth could get spaghettified. Well, we can definitely chill. Though there are black holes within our galaxy, the nearest suspected black hole, V616 Mon, is 2,800 light years away. Light years, by the way, are actually a measure of distance, not time. One light year is equivalent to roughly 9.5 trillion miles, the distance light travels in one Earth year. It really puts things in perspective. I mean, from up here, an entire world can seem utterly insignificant. The spacecraft New Horizons, which made headlines in 2015 with stunning new photos of Pluto, took nine years to get there, traveling almost 40,000 miles per hour. At that speed, it would take almost 47 million years to get to V616 Mon. If you're taking that trip, you might want to bring a book. I checked this out weeks ago for a bit of light reading. This is light. So, what do you think? Nobody knows what you're talking about, ass. Will mankind ever figure out how to use black holes for time travel and teleportation? That doesn't sound too hard. And is anybody else suddenly hungry for spaghetti? I'm not even taking it seriously. For more blindingly luminous top 10s and way too far out there top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.